Hey guys and welcome. Today we're going to have some fun making some borders or page tucks, belly bands. They've got uh, multiple uses. You can even cut them into tags, but they're actually a two inch strip. I've done mine uh, two inches across by eight and a quarter, which is basically um, the width of an A4 page. Now I'm in a, a Facebook um, group and each month we select um, something that we want to do and um, I've gone into this group um, to make these. So I have to make three of them for my partner. I've had a bit of a play around this morning. Um, this one's on cardstock, which I absolutely love. And this one I've done on acetate with some clear clear backgrounds um, that looks really effective as well but today I'm just going to do it on um, the cardstock background part of the Facebook group we're always given a link to a YouTube channel just to have a look at um, get some ideas basically on how they're made and we have got a link through to Melina um, Pylant's uh, YouTube channel and she was doing it as part of the Roxy Weekly Challenge, so at Roxy Creations. So if you want to jump over there and check those out as well, guys. Um, I haven't watched them yet, uh, apart from Melina's. I haven't watched Rachel's yet, but I will do after this. And um, they used uh, wax paper or tracing paper as their first layer. But I'm actually going to use cardstock today. So grab out some stickers, a couple of stamps, some collage background papers. You can either craft along with me or you can just sit back and relax and um, watch the process. So I'm going to start with um, some basic collaging, which is some book page. Now you don't have to fill the whole background. I actually left some white spaces um, in this one I mean because you can stamp over the top so I'm going to be doing the same on these two and I'm going to be doing two together just as a bit of a process so we get two results out the other end for you guys to have a look at now don't worry about going over the edge what's actually great about when you do go over the edge because we're going to cut it off so if you have a look at this one there was stuff hanging out over the edge and you'll be surprised once you cut it how well it comes together so we're going to lay down some um, basic collage backgrounding at the moment so bear with me while i quickly do that for you and then grab your ephemera um, whether it's you know your uh, tags your butterflies your stickers some stamps we're going to do a little bit of stamping on this as well and I just mix my collage around a little bit. I have a couple of bits of music, a couple of bits of book page. Then you get some um, nice uh, of your decorative papers to add a little bit of colour. On there. This book page I... I'm using here it's actually a digital download and I've printed it on white paper because it only had the basic writing on it in black and white and I've just gone over it um, just with some ink just to grunge it up a little bit and I just sort of rubbed all over the page and you get the same effect and it doesn't cost you as much in ink when you're printing it you're only printing the black and white I've just got a bit of um, old document ledger. So use whatever you've got in your um, scraps, guys. You might have book page. If you don't have anything, pull your stamps out and stamp 
stamp some images on some white paper. And throw them on there. Or you might have some really uh, light beige coloured um, scrapbook papers that you can use. Just want a, a bit of a neutral there, but we're going to add some colour into it. And then, of course, we're going to feature the colour when we bring our um, butterflies, flowers, stickers, people. You might have some nice ladies. I've got some Victorian ladies here that I might use. Now you can cover all of this as well. I'm actually going to leave some white space because I'm going to put a script stamp over the top. It's really great to get into some of these challenges or if um, if you're in Facebook groups if they do the monthly swaps um, one it's a good excuse to sit and craft and um, two you actually swap some really great stuff with people you learn some um, ideas on how to do them as well uh, a little bit more, I think. Might get some book page down here. And you can overlay like that. There's no rules really with collage. It's just throw it down on the paper. And I'm just using a glue stick here, Yoohoo uh, glue stick. It's probably my favourite out of all the glue sticks to use. I never have any problems with it. Okay, so that's enough collaging. So now I'm going to just um, put some stamps. But before I do that, I might just... Um, distress that background just a little bit just to get rid of the stark white and you can do it in different colors I'm just using the walnut because I've got it out on my desk but you could do greens or blues and I'm just using the distress oxide ink so really quick you don't have to be too fussy about it and now we're going to so grab a, a stamp, a background stamp or a script stamp that you've got in your stash or even just a pattern stamp. Totally up to what you want to use. And then just put some script down. A hard one to read this one and then I'm just sort of concentrating on the white areas push that one to the side not being too fussy with it So see how quick that is, guys, and it just ties it all in together. And then I've got another couple of stamps. I mean, we all love numbers, so might put some numbers or some dates on there. These ones in particular that I'm using today, um, they come in a little set. I just think it's a um, an AliExpress uh, little cheapy 
set because I was I was after some different words. I've got all the uh, Stampers Anonymous ones, Tim Holtz ones, but I was actually after some words to make some word ephemera. Actually, I might do that date in a different colour. I've got a top secret stamp here out of that same set that I'll do in red because I really like a pop of red on there. So just sort of find a bit of a blankish gap there. Put something um, red in there, perhaps. Then I've got um, this 712 number, which is out of that same, same set. And I'll just put a couple of numbers on there. You can do different numbers if you want. Once again, I'm not being too... Too worried about where I place it. I've got a little date stamp here, 3rd of February 1972. I'm going to actually stamp that in blue. So Seafarer is the colour I'm going to use there. And it's not a prominent blue. So I'm stamping it in the black there. Got too many inks open. So I'm just stamping off a little bit there to get rid of the black that I um, put on there. And just find a space that you think it'll look good on. You can do a lot of this stamping before you do your script. There's no rhyme or reason. You can, without collaging, you can just do all, all stamps if you want to. And then we've just got a little postal one that we will just do a couple of off the edge type of scenarios because we we are likely to probably put something over the top of that. So you can see that the layers are just building up just from um, doing a couple of little processes like that. And now grab your stickers, guys, um, and your labels, if you've got any labels, or ephemera of any kind. I'm going to be working with some labels. I've got a container for here. They're handmade ones. They're Tracy Fox ones. I think her channel or her um, Etsy shop is called Love Junk Journals. Um, check that out. I actually only purchased some um, Tracy Fox labels a few weeks ago, actually, and um, I just absolutely love them. Love them, and I know a lot of you guys use them. And you can just reprint them as many times as you like. So I'm just sort of placing a few here and there at the moment. Just to sort of um, get a bit of a feel. There's no measure on how many you've got to put on, if you've got to put any on. These two that I'm doing here, I didn't bring a lot of colour in with my um, papers, which I did in my last one. I'll show you again. I put I put some green in there. So that's up to you. These ones I sort of wanted to bring in with my label. So late, whether you're using labels or ephemera, they all look good when you place them down and then when you cut it out, for the final strip. Maybe need a bit more colour on there, so I'll look for some greeny type ones. Now 
maybe some random numbers. I might start gluing some of these down and then we'll get some um, butterflies on there. All right, so just using the glue stick um, as well. You can use art glitter if you want to, but I find the glue stick's fine. So when you're doing this step, um, just have a bit of a think. Sorry, that one goes down further. Just have a bit of a think about where you want to place your focal points. So in this case, I'm using butterflies, but you can use flowers. Hard to tell sometimes. You could do a whole page too. I've seen them do that. Um, and then cut your strips out. I've done it that way. I actually think this is, this is more fun because you get more variety in the strips that you do. And do your labels or your words or whatever you've got in your stash, do them before you put your um, final focal points down because your focals can lay over the top. So don't be too afraid, um, you know, if you don't feel that you're leaving enough spaces there for that focal because definitely can... Um, put them over the top. Because I love working with these mini labels. Um, it was a bit of a mission. I printed them out. Uh, so I purchased them and then I printed them out a couple of times on some lightweight cardstock. I didn't want them on paper. And then sat down, I had oh a lot of sheets to cut out. And you might think, oh, most of them are straight line, but they are quite fiddly when they're little, like that. And, um, yeah, it was a mission, but I got it done. I, I did it in front of TV. and The only time you have to worry about how far over the edge it comes is you don't want to cut your wording off if your label has a bit of a saying or a word on there. Otherwise, um, don't be too fussy about it. All right, so let's put that to the side and let's grab some butterflies. So I've got I've got two containers of butterflies actually. Now let's have a bit of a look. So I sort of have a look at well this one's got some blue in it, so we might go with a blue blue theme. And I try and get um, a couple that are similar. I think they're all the big ones in here. So 
and can probably be a yellowy theme, maybe. And you can have it coming off the page like that as well. So don't be too worried if you don't have the right um, stickers. You don't have to have the whole thing on the page. some um, cut out ephemera butterflies so let me have a look in that one let's stick with the stickers find one more blue one Blue is obviously a popular colour. Got the side butterflies as well. They look pretty cute. Sometimes when you've got a lot of stuff, it actually um, does make it harder to choose than if you've only got a few. Oh, there we go. So I need a smaller one up the top there because it's no real room for it to go off the page dig down deep and see if there's there's one smaller one up the top there perhaps bring that one down a bit okay so let's stick these on easier and harder to do. I do struggle with the stickers. Oh, there we go. If you've got a bit of a nail, sometimes that, that helps. seen a lady um, Julie I forget what the channel's called and she was using a Stanley knife so I haven't tried that method yet um, I would probably end up cutting myself to be honest and him I've turned on a bit of a side because um, I decided I didn't want him too far off the, the page so then there's that one. So have a look at that now. And then I'm going to turn it over and then I'm going to cut the edges off. And then you can see what I was saying about how it all comes together once you cut the edges off and tidy everything up. How's that? How much fun is that? Absolutely love it. Love it. So I will get my um, bone folder and just rub them down a little bit more just to make sure that they're secure. But let's finish this one off as well. Um, where are we going to put... I'll go the smaller one up the top. That one in the middle and the big one down the bottom.
stick him down so you see how i've put it over some ephemera and the stamping it doesn't matter it will still show up yellow is always a bit light you could go around that in a pen too i'm not going to i like the transparency of it Same with that one and you can see this one's going to make a huge difference when we cut it off so we're going to turn it over and cut it off And that's it there so if we have a look at the three that we've done sorry about my messy desk Let's see if i've got a white bit of paper to put down there we go guys how fun are they um look give them a go you will absolutely love how they turn out um and yeah put as much stuff on there as you like you could use if you've got stickers like you know your victorian ladies you could use those um, flowers uh, you don't necessarily have to use butterflies you might like it without any of the butterflies just as like a document looking type of um, strip but there they go have have fun and um, please subscribe to my channel and uh, tick the notifications box so every time i upload a video you guys will get notified of it i hope to keep bringing you some great fun ideas like this and i look forward to seeing you on the next video thanks guys have a great day bye